The commission is getting poll books and paper ballots ready for the presidential primary. Commissioner Harold Richardson says they're receiving new ballots after a presidential candidate was added to the Democratic ballot. The ones we ordered were not able to use because we had to add the name Willie Wilson to the bottom of the ballot, so we having to make ballots right now. Voters are facing a short ballot. On the Republican side, voters will choose from five presidential candidates and two for U.S. representative. We have uh, been notified by the Republican Party that uh, two, four, six, eight had dropped off the ballot, so we're going to post this on the wall in the uh, polling place. For the Democratic ballot, voters will also pick between five candidates for president and two for representative. Richardson says Neshoba County faces a low voter turnout, especially for the presidential primary. If you have sheriffs and supervisors on the ballot, people turn out. All politics are local. Everybody's interested in local politics. Yeah, you lose a lot of interest on the national politics. Richardson hopes for a large turnout, but says judging by the low number of absentee ballots, he anticipates a low turnout. The polls are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday. The results for the Democratic and Republican Party are expected to be available shortly after the polls close. I'm Lindsey Jennings, Kix 96 News.